In the workplace, there are many materials one comes in contact with that are classified as hazardous, meaning they are dangerous and sometimes can even be fatal. It is important to identify these materials and know their properties and risks. Batteries, such as the kind you will find in a forklift truck, power generation station, or automobile, contain sulfuric acid, a hazardous material. Since all batteries have the potential to leak or spill acid, it is important to know what to do in case of an acid spill. This video will demonstrate how to properly clean up a battery acid spill in the workplace. Only trained personnel should attempt to clean up a battery acid spill. The first step in proper cleanup of a battery acid spill happens before the spill even takes place. Identify the hazardous materials in the workplace and the areas where a spill is most likely to occur. Second, place caution signs and make material safety data sheets available. Third, select employees to be trained as your spill response team. They will need to be equipped with proper personal protective equipment, acid spill absorber and neutralizer, and cleanup tools. Quick Cable offers a variety of acid spill cleanup kits for different size spills. Once you have the team selected, it is very important that they are properly trained to respond to an acid spill. Lastly, all employees that work in an area that is at risk for an acid spill should be trained on the potential hazards and procedures that should be followed in the event a spill actually takes place. All employees should know who is on the spill response team so that they can be notified promptly in case of a spill. An untrained employee should never be allowed to clean up an acid spill. Now that we've laid the foundation for an effective spill response, it's time for the actual spill cleanup procedure. So what happens when a spill is actually discovered? Let's walk through the scenario. It's 11.59. George has just finished moving his last load before lunch. As he heads to the cafeteria, he notices one of the batteries is leaking, causing acid to spill onto the plant floor. Step 1. The person discovering the spill alerts a member of the spill response team. George is new to the company, so he isn't part of the spill response team yet, but he knows who is. He immediately notifies Jim, who is captain of the spill response team. Jim in turn notifies the other members of the spill response team to get ready for a spill cleanup. Step 2. The spill response team puts on personal protective equipment. Battery acid, otherwise known as sulfuric acid or electrolyte, is highly corrosive and will eat through most clothing and burn the skin. Wearing personal protective equipment will provide adequate protection during the acid spill cleanup and keep you in compliance with OSHA Code of Federal Regulation. Quick Cable personal protective wear kits include vinyl apron, shoe covers, splash-proof goggles, face shield, nitrile gloves, and an emergency eye wash bottle. Step 3. The spill response team identifies the specific material that is spilled. It's very important that the spilled material be correctly identified because the use of the wrong spill cleanup material can cause a chemical reaction much more dangerous than the actual spill itself. Analyze the surroundings around the spill and look for other factors that could have caused a liquid to appear in the spill area. It is better to allow a spill to stay on the floor than to misidentify the spilled material and begin throwing chemicals or absorbers on it that can cause an adverse reaction. In this case, Jim shows the other team members where the spill occurred and, based on the location of the liquid and the absence of any other sources of liquid, it is clear that it's a battery acid spill. Step 4. After the spilled material has been identified, begin the containment process. Jim and the rest of the team open the Quick Cable Battery Acid Spill Kit and start to form a dam around the spilled material using Quick Cable's Acid Spill Absorber and Neutralizer. It's important to note that Quick Cable's Acid Spill Absorber and Neutralizer not only absorbs the battery acid, but neutralizes it as well. It is the only absorber on the market with color-changing properties to indicate when acid is present and when it is neutralized and safe to clean up. Okay, back to the spill. It's important to contain the spill so it doesn't spread to a larger surface area. Containment is the number one priority when it comes to battery acid spills, even before removing or repairing the damaged battery from the spill site. Once the spill is adequately contained, Jim and the other members of the team cover the spill with acid spill absorber and neutralizer. Step 5. Let acid spill absorber and neutralizer sit for 5 minutes.
Before Jim and the team start sweeping up the spill, it's important that they allow the acid spill absorber and neutralizer to neutralize the battery acid. Add more if it appears the spill isn't becoming neutralized. You will know the spill is neutralized by the absorber's color changing properties. A reddish color indicates the presence of acid. When the reddish color turns to a consistent yellowish color, it means the acid is neutralized and ready to be cleaned up. Keep in mind that no other absorber has the color changing properties as found in Quick Cable's acid spill absorber and neutralizer. Step 6. Remove damaged battery from spill location. The method by which you remove the damaged battery from the spill area is dependent on the size of the battery involved. If it's a smaller SLI battery that's leaking, manual removal is recommended. Using a battery carrier, carefully lift battery from spill area to a spill containment pallet, or carefully place in a polyethylene bag. The spill containment pallet will allow the damaged battery to drain safely while clearing the spill area for cleaning. If a larger motive power battery is leaking, you will need to lift it using either a hoist, battery carrier, or forklift. Place damaged battery on spill containment pallet and set aside for repair or proper disposal. Step 7. Sweep up the absorber and dispose of properly. When the battery acid has been neutralized using the acid spill absorber and neutralizer, the waste material is now considered non-hazardous and can be disposed of according to your state and local municipality's regulations. Finally, replace the absorbent and neutralizing materials that were used and decontaminate the personal protective equipment with a neutralizing wash cleaner or, if necessary, replace with a new personal protective wear kit. Cleaning up a battery acid spill can be hazardous, but following the correct procedures is a formula for a safe and effective cleanup. For more videos on battery care chemicals, visit quickhowto.com.